Oh yeah, he sure does. Harder to detect. No, it's not a shield though. Target effects plus one. Target move, target terrain, no, no sensor info. Uh, let's reserve down. Okay, we care about already moved, right? So if we look here, we got 30 percenters on the medium pulse. His shield is giving him plus two, but it was not the shield is not giving him plus two on the other one, which is kind of weird. Don't know why that is. Let's see if we change it mid turn. If it does it mid turn. did go up so it is changing mid-term presumably because his ECM shield is no longer any good correct all right well let's get in there and do something about it then uh, where's his flank behind it? his flank is there unfortunately side flank is available both of them I do get apparently a flank over there. Although only with the missile. I think that the missile can flank. I don't hate that move though. Alright. Can we double target here? That seems fine. Actually, is way up. Pretty happy with that. Okay. I got you. She inflicted some nasty on that dumb bitch. All right. PPC here. Should probably get in a position to kill that with the PPC. They are picking on us because this guy apparently picked up the payroll. If I were to go there though. Nine percenter. It's pretty bad. Can we get to a side position here? We can actually get to a side position there to flank. What would be there? Still only at 30% supposedly. Why is the shot so bad? Recoil, target effects, target move, target terrain, no sensor info. Basically, they shut us off with the ECM from getting good locks this round, it looks like. And he actually goes next. I thought he'd gone this round, but it doesn't look like he has. I could just shoot and move. Seems okay. Maybe he should have walked out of range of his um, jammer and tried to shoot him that way. Although I thought the ECM was counteracting that entirely. Okay. Flashpoint, even the streamer. I have it. Thank you, mate. Uh, 
All right. There he goes. That's a flank on our dude right now. Didn't go for the flank, though. Took the shot at the spider. Broke his arm. Annoyingly. Volley. Alright, can we kill him? We walk behind him. Which is this side. Is that our guy? No. Oh, we're pretty heavy on heat right now, too. Mm. Jump down and kill this then. Deal with him next round. I'm not sure we have anything to deal with him next round. Odds are garbage. Why are they so garbage? No sensor information again. Presumably we're getting jammed by him too. Where's his jamming field? Yeah. Don't mind cooling down here. Getting another kill. Apparently pretty bad too. Where's the field? It's this blue one coming from. Sometimes it's a little confusing to tell enemies from uh, ally fields. This guy needs some sensors badly. Punch him to bring down his evasion. His evasion is doesn't have any evasion pips at all. It's just this is ECM that's protecting him. Not sure punching him is even any better. 45% chance to hit. We'll bring my heat down, I guess. I actually don't have LOS on him either. So our accuracy will go up quite a bit as we get closer. Pretty about hit my own guys here. Am I okay with shooting in front of him? Keep doing this. Don't need to overheat quite yet. Okay. Yes, Commander. Ah, uh, we get legged. Left leg. to rotate a little bit further the other direction. It's unfortunate. Just hit my guy like a hundred times. No, just looked like it. it was actually the enemy. Okay. Are we supposed to protect this base? No, we're uh, we're robbing it of its payroll information. Or if it's payroll, actual money or something. Alright. What's the health like on this guy? His back is pretty boned. If we can get behind him and kill him, we're already behind him. We can rotate around and kill him. It seems pretty good. Don't really want to go there. Kind of want to stay right where we are. Yep. doing here this is left leg I like me some medium pulse lasers when they hit Okay. 
is our hunchback, and this is our PPC. How's this guy doing in health? Top of him, and the right side of him. And that's where we'd like to hit. Which way is he facing? Right side is his opposite side, unfortunately. That's the left side. Not super great for us. And can we get in a good spot and just execute him? Preferably with coolant. Yeah. One remaining off this way somewhere, right? Yeah. You know. I'm receiving you. Got it, Commander. Hey, done stuff full. Cool. Glad you're enjoying it. And I'm glad you like the battle brother stuff. Start getting range, take this guy out. Oh, he's coming forward. Closer. Do not want LOS on him. Do not want this leg facing him. Alright. Should be able to get a shot on him with the Panther. We have one shot. We actually have a shot here. Uh, against what side? Left side. We don't have armor information. Okay. Apparently he had some armor there. You want to move closer? Yeah, okay. And what else do we have? Medium lasers, but we have to be close. Or we have an LRM here. It's a flank shot. We know he's pretty wounded from the back. Let's go there and see what we can do. I'd like to change this to shield. I would like to put some rounds in that guy. Drop one of the pulse. Alright. I think that's it though. Mission successful. See what we get for salvage. There are a couple good mechs down there. I was a little worried when they dropped us directly on top of the base, but that just meant really quick rounds for us, which is nice. Not a lot of uh, lead up time to finding the base and getting there. So kind of nice. All right, this is a lot less than I thought they said they were giving us, but okay. All right, took a little bit of structure damage on the spider. A little bit of armor damage across the other guys, but not too much. All right, salvage available here. There are four Jenner parts, a Hitman part, and a Wasp part. A uh, couple ER medium lasers. I'm not super thrilled about. Some LRM-15, some medium lasers again. MML-7. Multi-missile launchers. Fire LRM or SRM ammo. Compatible with the Artemis IV fire control system. Got another Beagle Probe and another C3 Slave. 
This would be nice to have. Basic cockpits, couple engine cores. All right, here's some stuff we haven't seen yet. Plus one direct missile accuracy and missile criticals. Couple Guardian ECMs down here. And I don't know what this is yet. The mask. Control and left click on move button and mech HUD to activate this. Plus 30% walk distance when active, plus 40% sprint di distance when active, 15 heat per turn when active, 10% failure chance on activation, 20% additional failure chance on consecutive turns. Oh, we have read one of these before. Uh, two structure damage to location on failure, chance of failure reduced by piloting skill. Weighs 50% of one tenth of the chassis tonnage. Makes your guy faster, basically. Another sniper suite. Okay. Oh, I don't know what this is. What is this? Laser, tag, one pips. Target acquisition gear grants seven to sensor checks on hit. Decaying by minus one each hex the target moved. Evasion hips, one evasion hip, hip ignored. Plus one accuracy with this weapon. Target painters grant plus one accuracy against the target. Does not stack. Target painters make targets 15% easier to detect. Make them 15% easier to see. Does not fire in melee. It's affected by the lost tech quirk. I don't know what the lost tech quirk is. This would kind of be interesting. Is it way? Tonnage one. Does it count as a weapon? Can I strip the stupid small laser off that thing and put this thing on? Ah, I want that. Kind of want double guardian ECM again too. But I might have to take some stuff with some value here. Either the Hitman, I don't really want these parts. I don't really want a Jenner. It's still a little baby size mech. Kind of want a bigger mech. Um, there were some cool things. What were they? They were something in here looked kind of cool. Um, this thing, FCS Missile Plus 2 and the FCS Artemis 4. Okay. And the FCS Artemis 2. What does this do? Plus 1 accuracy with missile systems. Takes your FCS. Okay. This one gives you Artemis 4 ammo. Artemis 4 ammo is like multi ammo or something stupid. We have some Artemis 4 ammo, presumably. We don't have any Artemis 4 ammo available, so we don't know what that does really. Doesn't make me super keen on picking it up. It's worth 750,000, but so what? Yeah. Art IV is. Oh, this shit. Plus one invasion pips ignored by this weapon. Plus one accuracy left long range missiles. Plus one direct fire accuracy. Long range missile ammo, 120 shots. Requires an Artemis 4. Smart Warhead. Hmm. Yes, I could see what I had. I don't know if I want that or not, chat. Like, I, I do want to build an LRM at some point, but I don't think we can afford it in our people quite yet. Uh, this is kind of less good than I thought it was once I read it. I like the accuracy and the crit chance. I don't like the plus heat generated by this. This might just be good enough. This is also an FCS. It's just plus one missile accuracy. Okay. Yeah, but I'm thinking of slapping this on my um, SRM. Dude. What are these worth? Not that much, right? Okay. 
I think we're going to take some cash money prizes here. The 1.16 million uh, engine core. Could use both another Beagle probe as well as another C3 slave. There's a lot of like kind of like medium tier loot here. I don't think there was anything out of the mech portion. So what's the most expensive remaining thing? I don't really care about the ferrofibrous. Um, so these are at 430 and I would like one. And then this was at 620. I did want another, this is 970 and something I probably want. It's worth grabbing probably. The only thing that was more valuable, was there anything more valuable? I think one of these was close. 700,000, 750. 250. I think this is good. Okay. You swear you pick any channel with Battletech, 90% probability they're just futzing with loadouts. This isn't a loadout. This is a loot screen. All right. We rolled on a Hitman portion, a Jenner portion. Picked up the Beagle Probe. Picked up one of the other engine cores. Rolled on the Artemis II. One of the Guardian ECMs. Not bad. The other part was 1.1 million. Wasn't this 1.16, the one we picked up? Yep. Okay. Not bad. Maybe just inventory menus. It's a lot of inventory in the game. All right. So, successful mission. Just got our salvage. Take a look at what we can do with what we just picked up. I think we're on fatigue on most of our pilots right now, so we need a minute to uh, refit anyways. And I would like to, I'm considering leaving this area. We're running out of missions that we want to do here. All right, four days of repairs and 8,000, yes. I do want you to get started, okay. All right, fatigued for two days. We have next uh, payment in five, two, three, 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 five, six, six, six. So we got a while. We also have the next Argo upgrade in six days. All right, we need to sell stuff here now. Make some cash. Dump out stuff we're not using. All right, where are we gonna start with this? Thumper ammo. I don't think we have anything capable of running around with this yet. I think we can probably ditch all the thumper shit since we don't, we're not gonna have anything capable of holding artillery for a little bit yet. I don't know how rare this shit's gonna be. I'm sure it will burn me later. Uh, ammo streak SRM. I don't know what half means. Oh, it just weighs half a ton. It's a little like tiny baby bit of that. I kinda want some of that. We don't need four SRM ammo. We can bring this down to, well, unless we can use this anywhere. Can we use this with the MRM stuff or do we have to get specifically MRM ammo? All right, machine guns, what is TRC? This is tracer ammo on the machine gun. Half machine gun ammos, generic machine gun ammos. I've been pretty unexcited by the machine gun in general. I think I might just ditch this crap for now. All right, there's our HMRM LK. Wow. Oh. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying road tech. All right, standard fusion engine we don't need. Sensors basic we don't need. Picked up two sniper sensor kits. We want to install those when we can. I'm going to hold on to one of the heat sink kits if I can. We've got two different ones though. Radical heat sink and heat sink kit. 
Activates when above 90% heat, deactivates when below 30. Minus 20 per heat per turn when active, 5% failure, failure in activation. Deals critical to hit to self on failure. And what's this one do? Converts the deck to use double heat sink. But doesn't have all the other stuff. Doesn't automatically turn on. So this is nice. But this is a lot safer. If I'm understanding that correctly. Okay. I don't want something that turns on when I'm at high heat and sometimes blows up. That sounds like not my thing at all. Although it sounds like a very, very nice... Uh, it sounds like a nice heat venting system. Minus 20 heat per turn with this. But, no thanks. Okay. Uh, let's go down three jump jets. Okay, don't have any double heat sinks yet. We have 12 generic heat sinks sitting around. Let's sell six of them. I want the Guardian ECM, the FCS, FCS standard. Uh, we're going to go down a couple of these, I think. Probably two. The engine cores, of which we have four to sell. I do have some thought of swapping engine cores around right now. We'll see. Cockpit basic will go down three. Uh, cases will go down to two. SRM six, SR four, SRM four streaks and SRM four. I would like to start getting some SRM launchers on. Unsure about plasma torch. I think I'm gonna drop the MM L seven. Didn't ask for confirmation there. Uh, seven machine guns. I don't want any of them right now. Machine gun array. This is four light machine guns. That's interesting. Uh, I want the media. I want a couple medium lasers, but not five. We can go down to three. We're down to two. In case we get some damage on something. To an LRM 15 and an LRM 5. We'll hold on to both. I don't want the flamer right now. I don't want the ER large laser. I want the heavy MM H MRM, rather. AC 520 and AC 2. Range extreme. Range extreme. Optimal 360. They're recoilless, which I didn't realize. I don't think I want this. It's a recoil to 25% chance to jam. Recoil one 10%. I think we're getting rid. Oh, this is a 20 though. I guess right now I don't really need these for loadouts. I would be tempted to, to hold on to all these to see what other bodies we got, but I've been told by the game dev that we get penalized in terms of holding on to stuff. Um, LRM double. Kind of seems like a nice one. AC 20 double. It's AC 10 ammo. Chaff missiles. They're an LRM weapon, huh? It's minus 80% damage. No. Not doing minus 80% damage. Ammo medium rifle. Gauss rifle, I guess. It's 
Hold on to that. And the SRM ammo. Probably don't need four. Let's dump down two. All right. Uh, I want to get rid of a couple of these auto cannons. I'll hold on to one of the, the twos. Maybe we can get some utility out of it one day. I think the five was looking pretty, pretty unexciting to me. Although 45 damage is a big hit. Let's get rid of the five. Let's get rid of the five ammo. We don't have five ammo. We have 10 ammo. We don't have a 10. And let's get rid of the 10 ammo as well. Okay. Great. Equipment. I think we already got through this mostly. Oh, the engine cores is the last part. Medium rifle is a handheld auto cannon, not Gauss. Okay. The rifle is pre auto cannon weapon, so it's just garbage, is what you're telling me. So, what was it? It was rifle ammo? Okay. Sold. Alright. And then. It's the mech equipment stuff, right? The engine cores. Do we want to mess with any of our engine cores in terms of the performance? Right now, I would say the hunchback's a bit slow. The problem with the leaping and killing is that um, it messes with your accuracy super hard, which kind of fucks up our whole plan with that thing, which is a little bit unpleasant. And other than that, I like the speed on the, the little guys mostly. I think we're okay without this. We'll see. We have a big chunk of money for a little bit, or well, enough to get us going for a little bit here. Let's take a look at our mech bay. See what changes we're going to be doing here. We're repairing stuff for a couple days, and then we can get stuff going. Um, how is this right now? Hunchback needs two days. Panther needs two days, and the spider's there. We're waiting on people. We're about three days out on the next mission. Is there another mission we want to run here, or is it time to move on? Command center says against, this is against another people we don't really care about. Pretty light mission. Let's look at the heavier missions. Against people we do care about, people we do care about, do care about, do care about, do care about. We could do this mission. It's a half star, not a ton of money here. Passes the time though, and we're not ready to, we don't have to leave this area. Maybe we could do a full another round of stuff before we move out. Is there two here? Uh, we do care about that one. So last mech standing right now. Don't want to do this one. And fire for effect would work as well. Yeah, we won't be taking this one. We'll just go somewhere else. But we should take, the, I think, the last couple missions available here before we move on. If we're going to spend the time to move to a new location. We can do some major refitting while that's happening, too. Tweak our sensor suites and that kind of stuff. Um, thank you, Toshin Shin, for the idea of what you mean. You're trying to be helpful here. But I prefer not to be backseated. So um, if you want to suggest, you know, say, Filthy, if you're looking for an easy mission, defense missions tend to be a little bit easier. That's nice of you to say and helpful, but telling me to look for those. We don't really need those right now. These missions haven't been hard, even at 1.5 contracts. And we've actually done a defend mission in this playthrough already. So I'm kind of aware of them, but thanks. All right. Uh, I think we're going to do the last mech standing next once we get our, our mech base correctly done or mech base back here. Um, the longer ones were the panther and the hunchback, so let's get them split up. This is the panther, that's that's the hunchback. Let's get that down here. Okay. All right, and let's uh, move time forward. The spider, of course, is the lowest priority. It's not really, it's actually pretty good, but All right, all of our mechs are back. We have four dudes back. It's time to take that mission. I want to re, I want to mess with our mechs, but we probably just need to keep doing these missions before we can get out of here. All right. Okay. 
Last mech standing. That's where we're headed. Uh, the only thing we need to do first is barracks. So let's take a look at our non-fatigued pilots. See what we got going on here. Nothing for this guy. Nothing. I'm going to go for this next, I think. Nothing for this guy. Uh, 25 for this guy. I think this is going to be our other melee. I'm not entirely certain yet. 4K for this guy. No, this is fine. We'll just go. Okay. All right. Give me salvage. Give me max. Fatigue pilots out. All right. Um, he's pilot here. That guy there. Question is, do we want that? I don't hate. Hmm, might be okay. All right, Death Crusade is currently Ace Pilot. And then we are using Deadeye and the Hunchback again. I don't like that I haven't upgraded the Hunchback's weapon systems yet. But here we are. Okay. Off we go. Quick break for me, I'm gonna grab water. Back in a second, chat. Okay. I want to upgrade our sensor suite. The All the cockpit hardware is fucking great. I'm enjoying the hell out of that. Extra accuracy, specialized mechs, ECM interfaces. It's great. Okay. Move in and clear them out. Our lance versus their lance. Oh yeah, we brought two lances. Feels good. Okay. Alright. It's pretty quick. Oh, why is it showing me all this? Do I have one of the things out? So many. So many. Okay. I want to get that tag system on too. Seems good. What if I hit here? Alt? That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, we got to figure out what mode we have set up. I want protected mode for the beginning. Take the elevation in case we actually get a fight here. Man, what are we running? Uh, current state is ECM. That's what I want. Okay. All right. Baited. Let's move over here. Affirmative. Hello, new contact. Okay. LRM's out of a what was that? Something wimpy. Javelin. Okay. Oh, look whose turn it is. 
Uh, we can get a hit at 56% there. Take that shot. <laughs> All right. Get PPC'd. Do we wish to move? Mm, maybe. I don't really like giving up our elevation, but I could see us being in a pretty vulnerable spot right there. So maybe we just move down. Presumably four enemies, maybe eight, probably four. I have to figure out how the range of missions exists in the next world too. I don't know how we're going to choose our next navigation location, but I'm kind of excited to find out. Going after the spider again. All right. Do we wish to go for it? They're not currently sensor locked, so probably not. We probably want to get close and then set up for next turn. Which is probably going to be walk around behind them and shoot them, right? And our ECM shield Needs to get its ass in there. Oh, we're not quite there. Boo. Uh, that doesn't work either. I guess I can jump there and fortify. Okay. Our big dudes out front. Uh-oh, is this Mr. One-Shot? Sure is. I think that's a uh, AC... I can't remember how big it gets. I can't remember if it's an AC-20 or an AC-10 like 10 or something on it. I just remember a giant auto cannon on a mech that's like 20 tons total. I know the 20 is the largest, but I'm saying I don't know what the size is on that particular mech. On the urban mech. Round. We've got our guy here. 37, 63, 50, 37. I think this is a reserve moment and let our uh, C3 unit get in there. I actually don't know if they're running any. ECM, but still the sensor strength boost is worth it. Rolled pretty, rolled pretty low here. Although they look like they rolled pretty poorly too. It's an eight on the hover tank, a 13 on the urban mech. This is the guy we smacked with the PPC. All right. How's it going? This looks pretty good. I'd like to lock him on. Lock onto him. Uh, 
I'm ready, opponent. Make your move. No, no move. Okay. Lasers for everybody. 25s, 50s over here. Why is this so bad? Target moved. And this is much nicer. Target did not move. Can get closer. We want to point blank him. I don't know if we'll be able to kill him. Maybe. If I were to move to like here, gives us our back to this scout hover tank, which has what in it? Missiles, so they don't really care. Unless they're SRMs. SRMs will have directional. I could walk here. Just shoot it in the face. Are we still protected by... Where's our ECM aura? Protective ECM ends there. So we're actually outside of it here. Really tempted to do this though. We might just be able to alpha this thing. Alright. 60s there. Pretty garbage there. Pretty garbage there. Well, this is the shot we wanted, so we'll take the shot we wanted. Oh, good damage. Alright, we want to PPC something now. Shots are dead on at 63%. 37. A little worried about that angle. We can technically hit our own guy here, right? Could move first, I suppose. No cover over this way. Puts us in a bit of an awkward spot. I don't mind killing this guy. Why are our shot? Why is the shot so bad over here? No sensor information. Obstructed, recoiled terrain, target moved, medium range. No, we do have sensor in and sight information on him. So moving towards that guy does get an increased power shot. If we want to do that. No perfect shot though, it's all obstructed. Apparently. Alright, let's be brazen. Make sure we are body blocking and ECM blocking for our team. And I would really like to kill that. Shot kind of sucks. Why so bad? Didn't get a sensor information this round. Got rather roll here. Well, it leaves us a bit vulnerable. Didn't take a lot of defensive actions here. Nice hit, ally. 
four damage total. Okay, 50-50 miss, nice. Did shoot the guy in cover. 